let's hear it for Mondays. <laughs> or not. Um, I have another... I have a vlog. I have a vlog for you guys. A lot of chit-chat. Chit-chat. It's a frizzy hair. No makeup. Well, I can't say no makeup. But look at these freckles, guys. Eey, whatever. It's one of those days. I don't even care. Don't judge me. Um, had a lot to do today. Um, I just pulled over now. I'm on my way back from picking up a butt ton of prescriptions. And when I say butt ton, I mean butt ton. And guess what? They're all mine. Of course. But that is one of the reasons why I decided to vlog because it's something that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, at the beginning of the year now, my insurance that I previously had, <laughs> cue Miss Mia. Um, we might have to talk about this later because Miss Mia might be ready to go home and have a bubba. So take two and we'll be right back. Driving, driving, driving. All right, guys, I wanted to show you this. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has these in their neck of the woods, but um, we do. So I wanted to show you what this is. All right, guys, basically, this is our little free library, and it's really cute. Um, our city put it together. And it's just out here on one of the back roads. I don't want to even say back roads, but... And it opens up like so. And everybody puts books in it. And you can bring them, take them, bring them back, exchange them. It's just like a library, but you don't need no library card. And right now you can see that there's a bunch of more adult kind of books. But um, usually I try to fill it up with a bunch of children books. And Jazzy and I constantly come here and look for different things. And then she'll read them and bring them back. And then we'll bring some of hers after she gets some new ones. And we'll change them out for other ones. So I just thought that was really cool. Um, I'm not seeing any of them that Jazzy would want today. Because we have read all of these and brought them back. Oh, oh, there might be one. Kate, be late. All right, Kate. Well, you're a little too tough for Jazzy to read just yet. So, Kate, being late's not good. Al Roker. Midnight Show Murders. Okay, well, no, I'm good. All right, well, anyway, that's basically what this here is all about. And um, maybe I'll bring you guys with when we come and put um, some in here. So... Didn't find anything for Jazzy today, but it's right here in town for me, so we always like to stop at our little free library and check it out. So, I don't know, leave me a comment below and let me know if you guys have anything like this in your town, and if you don't, it's a great idea. What I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, my prescriptions and things like that. Um, I got new insurance at the beginning, obviously, of the year. Um, my plan that my husband and I were on and kids changed and they no longer offered that plan, which I think is absolutely ridiculous, but what else? So what we had to do was find all new insurance and figure all that out, which was not an easy task. And let me tell you, if you're diabetic and you are on life-sustaining medication, yeah, you don't want to have to go through all of that, um, especially when you're broke. <laughs> Um, we've gone, you know, I, I'm, I feel, I feel fine saying this cause it's the truth. Um, we've pretty much gone in debt because of my disease. Um, type one diabetes sucks. Let's just put it that way. Um, we've never had that great of insurance through my husband's work. We've always paid out the butt way, way too much, entirely way too much. I don't even know how they expect people to survive um even if you have insurance coverage so um yeah because of my insulins and my medications and things like that that i'm on um it costs almost five thousand dollars plus for me to live in a month and uh, yeah 
So there's that. Anyway, new insurance. Moving on. Walking, walking, walking. I had to bring you guys to one of my favorite places. Um, I constantly come over here and over that way and I take um, really pretty pictures of the sunsets over my little lake here. It's actually called the Mill Pond, but um, I call it a lake. <laughs> um, but I always come out here and take really pretty pictures. Uh, if I can find some, I'll add them right here. Um, but I like to come down here a lot, especially when I have stuff on my mind, even when it's frozen out, because it's beautiful. Is it not beautiful? Um, we bring our canoe out here and our little boat and um, right out that way you can hit the mouth of a river and then we'll row up the river and float down the river back to the mill pond and catch some largemouth and smallmouth bass. Oh, and northern. Ugh, I hate catching northern. Anyways, it's beautiful out here and I just wanted to show you we got our our little ice fishing shanties out here. They're not mine, um, just someone in the town. Um, when I was a kid, we used to come out here and they would scrape off a whole huge area and have a big ice skating rink for all of us. I don't know why they don't do that no more. Um, my dad would bring us out to in uh, his truck and uh, attach like um, a snow type, you know, inner tube or something and he'd like drag us all over. So, that's always cool. Um, we did that growing up out here all the time as well, but obviously the older I have gotten, um, it's just a source of peace and tranquility for me, and I have the most fun when I'm out here fishing, obviously, now that I am older. I mean, I'm sure I'd still have a fun time sledding, but, you know, what else? <laughs> so, I just wanted to come out here and take a little walk show you guys my little one of my little favorite places to be um, right over there is really good fishing too along the shoreline um, yeah so it's cold it is cold okay so insurance crap um, Basically, we had to come up with the money to pay a big, huge um, deductible that we really couldn't afford, but, you know, you know how it goes. Um, when you're diabetic, you don't really get a choice um, to decide if you're going to take your medicine one day or not, which is ridiculous. Um, so, whatever, I ended up getting new insurance, and I had to go see um, a new endocrinologist, and... I was completely upset about it, didn't want nothing to do with it. Um, my new doctor told me that um, this endocrinologist was 30, just like a couple years older than me, 38 or 39 I think she is, um, and she's like one of the top endos in our area and her herself is a type 1 diabetic. So. I kind of got the wheels turning, thinking just maybe, maybe, I should just get over my stubbornness and go figure something out once. Um, new insurance, new doctors, new plans, new deductibles. I didn't really have a choice. So, long story short, I ended up going and I met her and... I fell in love. <laughs> I fell in love with my endo. Um, she's completely amazing. She has so many new things for me to try. New devices, new everything. Like, I left there with the new um, Libre, um, the scan device, CGM. And the, it's the Freestyle Libre. And I, I've, she gave me basically the... Um, handheld model for it, which I'll show you, and it just scans the little sensor that's in your arm, um, and that's how you can tell um, what your blood sugar levels look like continuously, so 
Um, I left with one of those. She changed a bunch of my meds around and um, we're going to be working on getting the Dexcom. She wanted me to trial the Dexcom and the Freestyle Libre and honestly, even though I've been using the Libre, I still think I'm going to be partial to wanting the Dex, so I'll probably end up getting a Dexcom for the CGM. Um, which is a continuous glucose monitor, and she has all of that set up, and um, I'll probably be going to a tandem pump, either the T-Flex or the T-Slim um, X2, something along those lines, but um, she ended up putting me on a new med, and I believe it's called Tracebo, and it taking it's taking the place of what my long-acting insulin um, was before and that was I was using Lantus so it's gonna take the place of my Lantus and um, we're gonna see how that works and I'm only gonna be on that until we decide what pump and whatnot that I'm going with so um, big changes and the Tracebo shot that she wants me to be on um, she actually gave me a card for it, like um, a prescription type savings card. And let's just say that I couldn't afford all of my meds because I couldn't afford to pay um, out of pocket just right now for all of my, um, to, to meet my deductible. So this savers card for the Tracebo um, the pharmacist rang it up and then said, oh, you know, you're gonna, this is still gonna be 500 and something dollars, blah, blah, blah. Well, they put the, the card through, and the card took off 500 in savings. Now, I'll never be able to use that card again, but that $500 applied towards my deductible. Can you O-M-F-N-G? It applied towards my deductible. I came up with the rest of the money in cash and I left my pharmacy with a big old bag of drugs that I didn't think I was gonna be able to come home with. So if it wasn't for this new endocrinologist helping me out and telling me she's gonna change my life around and get me feeling better and I don't know, I wanna have huge, huge high hopes but I'm so afraid of having high hopes at this point that it scares me to let myself, so I'm gonna just keep my fingers crossed and say a prayer that maybe everything will start changing around and I'll be the one finally in control of my diabetes and not the other way around. Um, so, good news for the day. I got all of my prescriptions. Um, Life-sustaining prescriptions, mind you. And I really couldn't be much happier, so, um, I got that taken care of now. Thank the Lord. Um, let's just take a minute and praise the man upstairs. I don't know if he's done anything great for you today, but every day that I wake up, he's done something great for me. So, <sighs> thank you, Jesus. Uh, I don't know how that worked out. I don't know how that happened, but... I know the man upstairs had something to do with all of that working out so that I could get my meds. So, yeah. Alright, you guys. So, we are at one of my other favorite places. And, of course, it has to do with water. So, I'm going to flip this around and get this off my scary face and <laughs> show you another one of my favorite spots. And... Maybe I will break out the um, Freestyle Libre and uh, wand or scan my arm and check my blood sugars and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. Now this is one of my other favorite places that I like to come. And um, when my kids were younger we would come fishing down here. And you can see that's all ice. And um, usually there's a bunch of um, picnic tables and little benches and things out here. 
so that you can sit and fish and look at the water and all kinds of things like that. So, um, I don't know what it is about, <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's just because I've grown up in this area and something about coming and looking at nature and water and the sky and it just helps me, I don't know, helps me clear my mind, I guess. Um, when the picnic tables are all down here, all through here, um, I bring my Fobonichi, my journal, some pens, some markers, and I will sit down here and draw and just sit in the sun, watch people fish, um, maybe do a little fishing myself. I bring the dogs down here sometimes, and they like to run around. And summertime, you guys, this parking lot here is, you cannot see it. It is packed. It is filled with wonderful fishermen that are out there and fisherwomen um, that are out on the water having a blast. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share this with you. This is one of my other favorite places to come and sit and relax and think. And it's all iced up. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I just want... I love winter. You know what? Everyone thinks winter is so horrible, but it's not that bad. Um, makes you love spring and summer even more. Here's the boat dock. And, uh, yeah. Up here is a little bar that you can come to. Um, they have a huge thing around back that they have parties out on during the summer and you can come down here and fish and grill out and um, have some drinks and some bands play and things like that. So that's always a good time even though um, I have no life and I don't really do those things but um, a lot of my friends still do. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Actually, I think it's about five miles or so from my house to here. And in the summer, I will ride my bike and or walk all the way down here and then turn around and walk home. My uncle, growing up, he would be my great uncle, Uncle Harley, um, he owned a resort down here right on the water. And he had his own little boathouse, and I grew up basically like um, working in a restaurant, but more like a bed and breakfast. I don't want to say restaurant, that's kind of silly, but um, it was, you know, he'd have guests that would come. He had a bar and a huge dining room and how many rooms, and um, we would serve the guests. And over here is where he had his little boathouse. And they would take, um, bring all of their fish in. And when my brother and I were little, we would help um, fillet the fish and all of that good stuff. We would set tables, help with laundry, um, serve for dinner and breakfast, um, all that kinds of good stuff. So anything out this way. Just makes me remember my childhood and how blessed we were as kids to to have family like that and be able to all be together and you know all that kinds of good stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll make this kind of bits and pieces of my week and just upload on Friday or how I'll do it, but it's really pretty out and the sky is so pretty. And you guys are probably like, just shut up and let me enjoy. But, you know, I can't do that. I have a big mouth. All right, guys. All right, everybody. This is um, the CGM that I was talking about, the Freestyle Libre um, that my endocrinologist gave me when I was there. And like I said, CGM stands for Continuous Glucose meter um, or monitor continuous glucose a monitor and what this does is constantly um, check my blood sugars so instead of poking my fingers where you can see all my lovely scars and um, 
my poor fingers. Um, I have to test my fingers every day and make sure that my blood sugars are okay. And with the new Freestyle Libre, all I have to do is um, a calibration finger stick after it calibrates. And um, after that, honestly, I did it for myself. I shouldn't even say you need to calibrate your machine. Your machine pretty much calibrates itself through time. And basically how it does that is if you can see underneath my arm here, that little white dot right there is the actual um, little device. All right, so you use an insertion device, you guys, and that is how um, you get your CGM to stay in your arm. Um, and it does just go through to your um, interstitial fluid or tissues and it does have a needle that goes in but the needle does retract and pull out so all you're left with is like a little filament or cannula if you want to call it that um, and once it in, once it's in you open up or you turn on your freestyle and it'll tell you to scan your arm and when you do that um, this little machine will tell you um, that it'll give you a reading after 12 hours. Now 12 hours is kind of long, but if you think about it and you start a new sensor at like 8, 9 o'clock before you go to bed, um, in the morning, you know, by that time you had all night for it to kind of do its warm up and um, go from there. So, I'm going to get a more in-depth kind of talk about how that all works, possibly in a different video. Um, but anyway, you just want to hit this. It is touch screen and you click on check your glucose. And if I can show you, you just scan it like this. And now it says, it even gives you the arrow markers so you know. Mine says that I am at 134 and the arrow moving across means I'm staying really level at 134. Um, on the bottom it does show you a grid of what it looks like. And you also can go into your screens and um, check all, there's like a log book and things like that. You can check a daily graph, you can check um, all kinds of things like that. So, knowing that I'm at 134 and staying level is great, that is good for me. No, adjust, uh, no adjustments need to be made. So, um... I'm good to go as far as that goes and with this you can scan your arm as many times as you want and each time it'll put a little point on the graph and tell you where you're at. So I do like it but I still want to go with the Dexcom and the reason for that would be the Dexcom has um, alerts and I really need those at night. Um, when I have any hypos at night time I need to be alerted. Sometimes I don't wake up. Most of the time, if I am awake and alert, I can feel my hypos or even my hypers. But at nighttime, for some reason, if I bottom out really hardcore, I need that alarm. Um, I know you can get them set on your actual pumps and things like that, but I need that alarm. I need that peace of mind. And um, with the Dexcom, it also can alert, you know your husband or your mom or you know whatever so I'm assuming even though I do like the Freestyle Libre I will probably still go with the Dexcom and a new tandem pump so keep your fingers crossed for me that that all works out and I will keep you all posted Good morning everyone it is Tuesday and I'm about to lose my mind. Um, I don't know if anybody else has teenagers. But I'm about to kill mine. Um, <laughs> I got up already, got the kids ready for school, and drove Mr. Parker to his school. Um, he goes to... Um, a technical college and I dropped him off about an hour ago and I got home and started trying to clean 
I'm not really feeling the greatest and I'm hoping that it is not my turn to get the flu considering it's made its rounds through my entire house. Um, and it skipped me and I have a feeling that when I do get it, it's got something special in store for me because that's just, that's just my luck. So, um, he called and said he is done and I can pick him up. Why does my teenager not drive? Why did I, why did I not, oh, 17 years old. We'll be 18 in June. I digress. I love my I love my kids. I love my kids. I do love my kids. But I want to slap him. I want to slap him today. So now I am headed back to his school to pick him up. And Lord knows what he's going to want to do now. Because I have the day off. I am not babysitting. Um... So I have a feeling he's going to try to con me into doing something I probably don't want to do. Yeah. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Yeah. Here we go. I don't want to drive back there. I just want to stay home and lay on the couch and be lazy. Honest to God truth. everyone I am pooped it out pooped it out and my camera don't want to focus like always so I am laying in bed I'm actually in the spare room um aka also known as my art room. Um, Chazzy calls it my art studio, but, um, I'm not getting a lot of art done in here to tell you the truth because, um, we just got a brand new queen size bed from my brother who, um, moved to Texas and it's like a brand new bed and you know he's like all rich and stuff now so um he gave us his brand new bed and didn't want it sitting in storage so he gave it to us and that's all good and whatnot it's all good in the hood but now it's in my art room and I'm not arting I'm lounging in this really nice flipping bed and I feel like poop so excuse me while I yawn um I got a bunch of stuff done today I got Parker back from school Took him shopping so he could find, um, something for his dad for his birthday. My camera doesn't want to focus, and I don't blame it. I wouldn't want to focus on me either. Is that better? Is that better? I don't know. Stupid camera. All right. I was laying here, and I had a purpose to turn this camera on and talk to you all, but now that I'm all cozy and warm, I have lost my purpose. <laughs> um, honestly, I think it had to do with something about my art room, and I want to show you guys everything behind me, but I cannot because, 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 because this room is totaled now, because the bed that was in here, we moved upstairs into the spare bedroom. And everything that was in the spare bedroom, I had brought down here, and I had to move a bunch of stuff around in my art room um, to make room for a queen-sized bed. So there's just behind me, there's just totes of stuff all over. And instead of being a lazy butt, I should be 
situating all of that because, like I said, I'm busy doing a lot of resting and lounging versus cleaning and arting. Um, I have to catch up on my Fobonichi. If you guys watch my channel or if you're new to my channel, um, a Fobonichi is pretty much just a journal slash diary, but it's art, it's doodles, it's ephemera from your day, it could be receipts from the stores you went to, it could be the fortune out of your fortune cookie, it's just little bits and pieces of your days. Um, you can draw, you can write, you can sticker, you can washi, you can do whatever makes your little heart happy. And, um... I'm like a week behind in there, so I really got to catch up on that, and um, I don't know. I was going to do that, but like I said, I like to do it at the desk in my art room, and my art room is totally in shisha shambles right now, so I'm just laying here talking to you guys. Um... I did just hear the Zozo kitty jump up here, so I'm thinking you might get to see her in just a minute. Zozo! Oh, do you see her? Do you see her back there? Zozo kitty kitty! Come here! Zozo! Zozo! Come here and say hi to everybody. They love you more than me. Zozo! Oh, 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 we have a jealous doggy. Hi, Peaky Wooski. Go here. <laughs> that is Cleo. Oh, God, you're laying on me, Cleo. Get off. Okay, so that's Miss Cleo. Cleo, you do it. Why are you? Ow! Oh! It's dark in here. Oh, yes, I see you. Put your head down. Oh. Okay. Um, well, ouch. So that's Cleo, who gets jealous when I talk to the kitty. Um, Nikita, our husky puppy, is currently outside, probably barking at our neighbor, doing what she does. Um... I feel like I'm just sitting here rambling about absolutely nothing. I did have a purpose. I did have a point. It wasn't just to talk about the fact that I got my brother's flipping bed and I'm lazy and laying on it. There was more to tell you, but... Oh, beats me if I know what it was. Um, Do you guys want to know the honest to God truth? I'm procrastinating because I don't want to go do my dishes. And, um, here's, yeah, speaking of, I've had some wonderful comments, also known as insert huge amounts of sarcasm right now. Um, I've had some really negative people commenting on my videos, um, be it my Dollar Tree hauls or my vlogs or, you know, whatever. Um, and I don't like negativity. I don't let it usually affect me. Um, however, I am human as much as I don't like to admit it. And, you know, it's like the negativity and the crap comments are just really not needed, not appreciated. And if you ain't got nothing nice to say, well, my mama told me then you just don't say nothing at all and you keep your mouth shut. Um, and it's really funny because I tell you guys... I don't want to bring up any names, but there was a lady who had come on my channel. I don't know. She was on, like, um, a hate parade or something, but she watched so many of my videos and then would find anything negative that she could comment, and um, she basically just... Whoa, Zozo, where are you going? She... Anyway, yeah, she just watched the video to make a negative, very rude, very sarcastic, very mean comment. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen them, because some of them I actually deleted or blocked because rude much. 
Um, but now the point of this is, as I ramble, um, she had horrible, horrible things to say to me from maybe I should learn to zip my lips, quit talking so much, get to the point. I don't get to the point. I ramble. That's who I am. That's what I do. Um, I'm doing it right now. But she would tell me to, uh, maybe if I didn't spend so much time at the Dollar Tree, I would actually clean my disgusting house. And by no means is my house disgusting. And in one of the videos, I think I say, excuse my mess back there, because I had, like, I was doing laundry. And apparently, I don't know, this, this, this lady must be perfect. Um, I don't believe in that word. But, um, she commented about how bad my house looked. She commented about, um, how I talk. She commented about how I look and maybe I should spend some money on fixing my teeth and, um, <laughs> my teeth are not that bad. They're not that great. I need braces. I'm wondering if she wants to set up a dang GoFundMe account because if she wants to set one up for me. And if she's out there trolling this video right now and just finding something negative to say, because I'm sure you know I'm talking about you, um, I have not deleted her or blocked her from my channel. I refuse to. Free world, say what you will. I just don't understand the people that want to go about their day in a negative way. Just to go out there and hate on someone else, does it make you feel better? Because... I was raised completely different. If you want to feel good about yourself, you go out and you make someone else feel good about themselves. Um, I don't know. But, and now this is, this is the part that really bugs me. So I'm like, what did I do to this woman? I don't even know who she is. Why is she like targeting me and pointing out every flaw and, you know, whatever that's wrong with me? And I end up going to her page, or her channel, I should say, because she does have one. And you want to know what it's all about? Her channel is all about God. And, um, I don't, I don't know. To me, that is a complete and utter oxymoron. You know, there's, I don't know. It just floored me. Let's just put it that way. It floored me to know that someone who wants to go out, preach the word of God, um, have a YouTube channel dedicated to um, different scriptures and things like that, which I love that. Don't get me wrong. I am a child of God. But as a child of God, I don't go around judging anybody because that ain't my business. That's not what God put me here to do, and he would not be happy with me if I indeed was doing so. At least that's what I believe, not my place to judge. And for someone to apparently be holier than thou, I just think that's kind of ironic. Don't you think? Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't appreciate the hate. If you want to, go for it. It's not going to um, make me want to curl up in a ball and cry like a baby. It's just unneeded, unwanted, and truly, I just don't see any point in it. Like, really? I don't. I don't know. Maybe she was having a bad day. Maybe we should all say a prayer for her and hope that she can find a new way to make herself feel better. Um, and not by judging and hurting or trying to hurt other people and or their feelings. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that was not what I had to even rant about, but I ended up ranting about it anyway. Sorry, the lighting is really crappy in here. Um... Yes, I am aware, but I'm also laying in bed doing nothing. So, I didn't want to light on. And because I am who I am, that's what I did. 
oh, I can't even look at all this stuff behind me because I'm like, it's calling me to come and play in my art journal. And that's something, you guys, I've never even showed any of you, I don't think. I have like an, um, it's not my Fobonichi, it's an actual um, Rangers uh, Delusions brand art journal. And it's just actual art. Um, I've posted pages on my Instagram. If you want to check it out, it is Mandy K 1082. That's how you can find me. And there are a couple pages um, from my art journal on my Instagram. But I don't know. Is that if that's something you guys are interested in seeing a flip through, or maybe me do a page in it after I get this mess behind me cleaned up and stop being a lazy butt? Um, Maybe we can do something like that. I'm I'm trying my hardest, if you guys have noticed, to see um, there's smaller hauls because I am trying to not spend a lot of money and the money I usually do spend at the Dollar Tree um, usually comes from Google. Um, I know someone's going to be like, how do you get money from Google? Because, I mean, a lot of people don't even know which sometimes floors me, but yes, you can get paid for making YouTube videos and having AdSense um, revenue from the ads that run in the beginning or end or throughout your YouTube. Um, and that, however, is not why I even did YouTube. I didn't even know about that. I just started making videos because it was fun. It was something I liked to do. Um... So, but anyway, yeah, a lot of the money that I would get from Google if I met my $100 threshold each month, that is what I would use at the Dollar Tree. Um, I also babysit and I use some of that towards some hauls and things like that. And so we are, like I said in the beginning of this blog, though, vlog, vlog, we're kind of broke. We're kind of past broke. So you might not be seeing huge extravagant hauls as much, but there is there will still definitely be hauls. Um, I don't care. This girl can't stay out of the dang Dollar Tree. There's just no, there's just, I can't. I can't. I needs to go to like some type of AA or something for the Dollar Tree. Hi, I am Amanda. And I have a Dollar Tree shopping addiction problem. I just found my son's phone laying in this here bed in the pillows. Hmm. Shall I snoop through it? Nah. I'm not that nosy and I trust my kid. Alright. I'm going to lay down and not make you guys listen to me. If you're even out there still listening to me. Talk to you later guys. Bye.